Left 4 Dead 2 is one of my favorite video games of all time. It's one of the best zombie shooter games and one of the best co-op games of all time. And as a person who sank 400 hours on this godforsaken game where I had lots of fun and being dead inside just for fucking up one moment in the versus so therefore I get shot on and vote kicked at the same time. Yeah, Versus is an interesting place, but we aren't here to talk about Versus, we are here to rank every goddamn official campaign from worst to best. And since I wasted 400 hours of my life playing this game, I'm more than qualified to do this task. And I cannot wait to get flame in the comment section for having an opinion. Listen, if you prefer a certain campaign, then it's fine. Please don't act like cunt stains in the comments. And without further ado, let's get started with Coldstream. Yeah, Coldstream. Yeah, worst campaign ever, Coldstream. Alright. Uh, cold stream, success. Worst campaign of all time. What the crap is this garbage? Ugh. Brother, ugh. Chapter one is so short, and like, yeah, I get it. There has been short maps involved, made campaigns, but at least they had some points of interest. This is just a forest with this giant ass building here it literally has nothing it also ends on a crescendo and boy oh boy prepare to see this become a bad trend chapter 2 starts with ah oh my eyes god damn jesus christ and also a rock for your troubles and ends on a crescendo okay what the fuck this is just chapter 1 but long but longer and road road yeah that's it chapter 3 is probably the best chapter here but either way it has two crescendo events Guys, the work we shouldn't have lost all meaning for me. Lastly, chapter 4 is just this count the parish bridge finale. From what I heard, this map was made by some guy in the community that Valve noticed a map from them and they hired the guy pretty much. I kinda wish they hired someone else. <laughs> like, no offense to the guy, but like, this one just fucking sucks ass. Anyways, this map has too many crescendo events. Can the map creator refund some of them, please, for my sanity? Also, you can really tell I didn't want to play this map at all. I even managed to get incapacitated by a car in chapter Three. You know, the one that triggers the Christian event. How, how is that even possible? This map is horribly paced and horribly designed that I cannot believe that the creator looked at this and thought, yeah, that looks good. Next up, we have The Last Stand. This map is bad because it's disappointing, really. It's a two-chapter campaign and right off the bat, that's, that's a big yikes. What I mean is that the first chapter is so short Compared to the finale, like no joke, chapter 1 is just not that long that features a panic event. As for the finale, it's your average finale chapter, but suddenly you're playing scavenge in the middle of it. Like, what the fuck? This is literally padding for the sake of padding. There's no reason to pad for game time on a fast paced zombie sure co op game. There's even an achievement where you have to speedrun this thing in 30 minutes or less. Even the devs knew this one sucks ass. Why did the community make campaigns just are not as good as the ones Valve made? Like, is it really that hard to design a very replayable map? I'm just curious because this one is not as replayable as the ones Valve made. Crash Course, another two map campaign, but at least it's not as bad as the other one, it's still shit, don't worry about it. It's meant to bridge the gap between No Mercy and Death Toll, and I say they did a solid enough job. The first chapter is fine actually, it's a bit long, but it does it gets the job done. The second one is your average finale chapter, and just in general, I feel like two map campaigns are so shit because there's not enough time for them to leave an impression on you. This could have easily been a 3 chapter campaign instead of 2, although I like the ongoing gag they have with the pile becoming a zombie so someone shoots them thus causing the helicopter to crash down and they keep blaming the guy who shot them, <laughs> like, <laughs> that's kinda funny. Also this campaign references Steam. I hate Steam. Pipes. Man, I love Steam. Yeah, Steam's alright, I Weapons. guess. The Passing. A decent enough campaign. I kinda like that this is like a crossover between Left 4 Dead 1 and 2 in a way. And it's a nice way to tie Death Center and Dark Carnival all together, albeit a bit unnecessary. Uh, although near the end of the second chapter, yeah, I don't like the constant horror. Add work to the mix and now you just ruin my whole day. 
you can just skip this one by using a drill in a shot. Anyways, I will say that this one has lots of funny lines, and the interaction between the two cast of characters is very sweet. If I'm being honest with everyone here, I kinda wish this was longer than what we got. I feel like this campaign is kinda cozy in a way, I'm not sure really sure how to explain this. Oh, by the way, the finale is scavenge, and let me make my stance clear, I really don't like these types of finales. If I wanna run around the map collecting gas cans, then scavenge is right there in the second game mode. But no one plays that game mode, which only solidifies my point. It, it, it's, it's not fun. Like, okay, it's not really the fact that it's not fun, it's just that it's not good. Simply put, I do not like running around collecting gas cans. I'd rather camp in a spot until rescue arrives than this yet. Blood Harvest. Listen, hey, listen, hey, listen to me, listen. Now, listen very closely to me. Not a bad campaign, but not the best either. Each chapter is just so short for some reason. I feel like the map ends before it begins sometimes. The chapters are so gosh darn short that I can barely remember anything about this really. I remember that we knocked off a bridge, and the military finally came to rescue us, and then we all know what happened next. Like, it's not bad, it's just underwhelming. Swamp Fever. This one is not that bad, but it's not really that interesting aesthetically. Also, water in this game slows your movement down a lot, so when you are surrounded by water, yeah, you can understand the frustration a new player would have. I have 400 hours in this game, so I don't give a fuck. Chapter 1 and Chapter 4 are the best chapters in this campaign. I really like the Plantation chapter, because this is a cool place for a finale if I'm being honest. And also, if you play on higher difficulties, you have to fight two tanks instead of one. Which is kind of crazy, not gonna lie. The Sacrifice. This campaign is the final chapter for the original Left 4 Dead cast and they have done a pretty good job with it. While in my opinion this campaign is not really that notable with the exception of Bill's Sacrifice, which by the way R.I.P. Bill everyone's good. I had my fair share of fun with this campaign, but in my opinion this campaign is not as good as the ones that are coming up, but it is a very fitting end for Zoe, Louis, Frances and especially Bill. Also if Bill doesn't sacrifice in your playthrough of this one then you have played this campaign wrong. Dead Center. Most overrated campaign in this game, and rightfully so. I mean, this is probably the first like map that you will play when you put up this game for the first time. And this map is also very popular in Versus, so it's safe to say that this map is iconic. But is it good? Well, chapter one was pretty cool. We we're stuck in a burning hotel with zombies running around this place. Chapter two was fine. Not much happened until the part where you have to grab some skull to progress. Chapter three is probably the best chapter here. The mall is such a unique and pretty memorable. Area. Area here and also this is the same map where the director can change the path where you go it doesn't make a big difference in the grand scheme of things but you know it's you know it's cool however I really dislike chapter 4 purely because I don't like the gimmick of running around the map getting gas guns although it's not as bad as the passings finale it's this area the atrium is, is pretty self-contained really death toll I consider putting Death Toll lower, but after replaying it, this campaign is better than I remember. The first chapter is not anything special, but like neither are most first chapters in Left 4 Dead campaigns, but starting chapter 2, it just gets better. Chapter 2 has us inside the sewer, chapter 3 has the church with the guy who is totally not infected, guys, don't worry, totally, yeah, it's not affected totally. Just ignore those suspicious crawls, by the way, it's, no, it's not nothing, it's just masturbating, I don't know. Chapter 4 doesn't have much except for this content of a horde and you have to rush to the safe room. Eh, this is caused by a forklift. I'm not kidding. Chapter 5 is pretty cool. It takes place on a boathouse defending ourselves from the horde till the boat gets here. Just your average finale chapter. All around, I'd say this campaign is decent. Dead Air. Now we are getting into the great campaigns territory. Dead Air is my second favorite campaign from Left 4 Dead. It's such a cool campaign that has many interesting set pieces. Chapter 1 is your average Left 4 Dead chapter, however, after 400 hours poured into this game, I finally managed to do this parkour thing. I'm so proud of myself. There's not much to the second chapter, it has the Crane Crescendo event and the offices which are neat. The third chapter is probably the weakest part of this campaign. It's not bad, it's just decent. Chapter 4 is awesome, and that gauntlet in your hand is so hard but so enjoyable, and the finale is your average closing chapter. Overall, a great campaign that I always enjoy every time I play this. Hard Rain. I accidentally skipped this one when replaying all the campaigns, but honestly, I really enjoy this one so much. I don't know how to explain it. This is prime speedrun material. Chapter 1 and Chapter 2 are pretty cool, but oh boy, there are many witches in this map in general. Chapter 3 and Chapter 4 can be the longest chapters or the shortest chapters ever made, and they are pretty enjoyable. Water in this game slows you down significantly, but here, 
I don't know, I find that it adds to the experience and it's pretty fun to actually traverse chapter 3 and 4, you know, there you know, the water is everywhere, but it's very fun to, you know, find alternative pathways that are faster than the normal path that you took. Um, the finale is your average finale. I love how moody the atmosphere gets starting with the third chapter where they bring the, out the storm. Overall, this was an unexpected surprise. I cannot believe that I actually forgot about it until now. No mercy. This one is a classic. All chapters, maybe with the exception of the first one, are all good. Each one of them brings some interesting set pieces and overall it's an enjoyable campaign. This is quite possibly the best first map ever made in a video game for newcomers. Also if you haven't blown up the gas station in your playthrough then you play this campaign while well, just saying. Dark Carnival. Holy hell is this campaign so good. The carnival is such a cool set piece. Every chapter is amazing. Alright, maybe not the first chapter. The fairgrounds, the tunnel of love, the coaster, what is there not to love? Even the finale is epic. You're actually listening to a concert while fending off the horde. It's so cool, man. Although, my biggest crap with this one is the bar. Specifically near the end of it, where this is just this gauntlet of seemingly never ending zombie horde. Holy hell, this is a bit too much, in my opinion. But other than that, amazing campaign. And at number one, we have The Parish. Yes, I love The Parish. Such a fun campaign from start to finish. I love everything they have done here. It's so entertaining and interesting throughout the whole campaign. And the best part of it all is the bridge finale. A finale where you have to run for your dear goddamn life to safety. They finally did it. A campaign where you don't have to play survival. I mean, not that survival is a bad game, but finally, the best part about this whole campaign so far. And what a way to end the storyline of this Left 4 Dead 2 cast. And that's it! Left 4 Dead 2 released in 2009, and damn this game is old and but it, it still is an amazing title. Perhaps a masterpiece even. In the future I'll make a game review of this one, but right now I wanted a short and quick video because why not. Oh yeah, I also have like a Discord server which you can find an invite to it in the description. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this video and comment down below what's your favorite campaign and why. Have a great day or evening. And I'll see you next time with another game review. First aid kit here!